Okay, you guys, so these are the materials that you will be needing for this tutorial. So fabric, I already pre-cut it, but on the tutorial, I will tell you the size and the measurement of everything. Your pencil, pins, don't forget. Fabric scissors, tape measure, your ruler. Of course, you'll be needing metallic zippers for this tutorial, or if you don't have metallic zippers, it's okay that you have a plastic zipper. Just make sure that the teeth of the zipper is exposed. And voila! So the first tutorial that I will be teaching you for today is the pocket zipper. Here on my table, you can see that I have three kinds of fabrics. So this is the face, or this is the shell of your garment. 13 inches long and 12 inches width. This is the facing and we will be needing it for attaching it to the self or to the shell of your garment. So this facing has 3 inches length and 10 inches weed. And the last pattern that we have here is for the pocket. So the weed is 10 inches and the length is 9 for 8. So the first step that we are going to do is we are going to attach this facing into the shell and pin it in place. We're going to keep the half of the length of the facing. So the length of my facing is 3 inches and I'm going to divide it by 2, so that's 1 for it. Let's mark it. We're going to mark a horizontal line in the middle. Draft your horizontal line. There you go. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to locate the half of the weave. So that's 10 inches divided by 2, that's 5 inches. Just going to mark it here. And then after that, on the left side and on the right side, we are going to mark in 1 inch. There you go. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to measure this point from this point to this point, making it sure that it's 8 inches. 8 inches. There you go. Get your ruler. We are going to mark, mark off, and draft to 8 inches. We're going to draft another horizontal line. And we are also going to do that at the bottom. So there you go. This is the opening for your zipper. We are going to mark again. On this point, on the one inch here, we are going to mark four eighths, just mark it, and also on the same side. What we would want to do is we are going to shape it like a triangle all the way there on the edge of the rectangular. There you go. So the next thing that we are going going to do after you draft the rectangular line and every line here for the facing, we are going to sew it on the sewing machine. So now we're here on the sewing machine and we are going to sew all of the lines in here except for this diagonal or triangle line here. And of course, we are not going to sew here in the middle, here on the middle line because we are going to cut it later. Okay, let's do it. Cut the excess threads, remove your pins. Now that you have finished sewing your facing into your shell, what you're going to do next is you are going to cut the middle part. And you are going to stop here on the edge of the triangle. You are going to cut it diagonally, not hitting the stitch line. There you go. That's good and do it on the same side as well. There you go. You now have your opening. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to put all of the fabrics on the opposite side and we are going to press it So this is your opening for your zipper. So we are going to go back to the work table and I am going to put the zipper. So the opening of the zipper is 8 inches, making it sure that it's 8 inches. We are going to take another measurement just to make it sure it's 8 inches. That's good. So what I do with the zipper before top stitching it is, you know, you can base it. And for me, I am just going to pin it because I'm most comfortable pinning everything, as you guys know. There you 
and again we are going to the sewing area and we are going to sew it. Let's go! Because I'm going to do a top stitch, I am going to change my footer into a single one. There you go. And I will start here on the top. This is the easiest way to attach your zipper to top stitch them. Okay, let's do it. This is it for this video. Please allow me to quickly introduce you to my super useful product for sewers. Discover the ultimate sewing companion with 600 sewing projects. Packed with a massive collection of sewing projects, this easy to navigate PDF is your gateway to endless creativity. Simply click on a category, whether it's bags, clothes, bedding, toys, headwear, or an extensive variety of other plans like accessories, zippers, plushies, quilts, scarves, and a lot more. Each of the 600 projects contains a detailed explanation on how to make them, with lots of images, materials, step-by-step -step instructions, and even videos. Visuals for every project help you quickly decide what to add to your to-do list. With built-in notes pages, you can easily save and organize your favorite projects for future sewing sessions. 600 sewing projects, the only sewing resource you will need. Transform your sewing experience today. Link is in the description of this video.